As an overview, it's helpful to differentiate between the first 11 chapters of Genesis and then Genesis 12 to Genesis 50. The first 11 chapters of Genesis, you have four major events that involve all of humanity. So you have the story of creation, then you have the fall, and then you have the flood, and then you have the Tower of Babel. So four global events that have an impact on all of humanity. And then in Genesis 12, the camera zooms in and focuses on, the, on Abraham. The Lord calls Abraham. He calls him to be obedient to his uh, promises. And from this moment onwards, we're not focusing on all of humanity. We're focusing on the story of one man, then his family, and then the nation that comes from this one family. And from Genesis 12 to Genesis 50, we have the account of four generations of this family. The generation of Abraham, the generation of Isaac, the generation of Jacob, and then the generation of the sons of Jacob. So four events from Genesis 1 to 11, and then four generations from Genesis 12 to Genesis 50. One aspect which is crucial to keep in mind is that when the camera does focus in on Abraham, it's not that the Lord has lost sight of the nations, because the Lord says that through his offspring, all the families of the earth will be blessed. And so you're tracing the story of this family because it's through this family and through this offspring that all the nations of the world will be blessed.